Are you completely confused and overwhelmed when you think about Amazon PPC? It's not surprising. There is so much that you need to understand and so many complexities and details that you need to learn. But today we are gonna be clearing that up for you on AMZ Unlocked. Welcome to ANZ Unlocked. I am Kimberly Locke, and this is a place for inspiration, empowerment, and education on all things Amazon. And today we are going to be covering the basics of PVC. I want to clear up the confusion for you when it comes to the different match types and ad types on Amazon. Now, this is a high level PVC basics overview. This is not getting into deep strategies and how to set up your campaigns. That's what we're going to cover in an upcoming video on our PPC masterclass. So make sure you drop a comment and let me know what you are wanting to know about PPC campaigns so I can be sure and add it into that session for you. But even though this is not a strategy session, there are gonna be some great knowledge bombs and tips and stay with me to the end because I have got an absolutely mind blowing tip. I mean, mind blown that you are gonna to wanna to stick around for. It is my secret weapon for my Amazon PPC campaigns and you don't wanna miss that. So let's dive in. Now there are four main ad types within the Amazon PPC platform. You've got your auto campaigns, your sponsored product, sponsored brand and sponsored display. Now you have to have brand registry to be able to run sponsored brand or sponsored display ads, but any professional seller can use sponsored product or auto campaigns. Now let's start with the sponsored product campaigns. My personal favorite, I think some of the most useful campaigns out there, not saying that the others don't have their uses, but these are your bread and butter. These are what really are going to form the foundation of your Amazon PPC. So your sponsored product campaigns are meant to drive sales. You can target different keywords or specific ASINs which can be incredibly powerful as you could disrupt the competitor of your product by showing up on their product detail page. So you'll know you're looking at a sponsored product ad on the search results page when it has the little gray sponsored tag underneath it. We'll get into a few more specifics about sponsored product ads when we start talking about the different match types, but let's go ahead and talk about the other types of Amazon campaigns and how and when you would use them. Sponsored brand campaigns are some of my favorites as well. They are very useful and I love them because you can use a variety of different types of campaigns within the sponsored brand umbrella. These are basically meant to drive awareness, but you can get some good converting campaigns going from these. One of the main types within sponsored brand that will really drive that brand awareness is the product collection campaign. Now you'll see these on pretty much every search results page on Amazon, and it's the very first ad right at the top. So this product collection ad appears at the very top of the search results page, and it's gonna have a logo, it's gonna have a headline, and you can have three different products listed in it. Your logo can drive customers either to your storefront or to a landing page that you create within Amazon, which can be really powerful if you're running some sort of special offer around a holiday or certain event, or maybe you've created a virtual bundle and you really wanna let shoppers know about that. Your three products listed in the product collection are naturally going to drive your customers to the product detail page for that product. Now, the next type of ad under the sponsored brand ad is one of my personal favorites, and that's a video ad. I love these because they're very high converting ads, and depending on the niche, I have found often that the suggested bid price is lower than your sponsored product bids. Now it's going to appear in the middle of the search results page. You'll, I'm sure you've noticed it when you're searching on Amazon. So the key to this is to make sure you have a really high quality video so you can get those conversions. You really want to communicate to your customers the benefits and how this product is going to change their life. And you really want to make sure that you can use models in this if at all possible. And here's a hot tip. You don't have to have your product in the section of the video 
with the model. You can use stock video. If you have the rights to use the stock video that you found in a commercial way, so you've purchased it either through a subscription to something like Envato or Shutterstock, then you can use it and it doesn't even have to have your product in it. So you can cut it and set it up where you've got the video with the model, then you've got your product shown in situ in a lifestyle image and, and it really communicates the benefits. So I remember seeing one that was so powerful and it was um, something to do with a baby. I think it was like a baby carrier and it showed a man bare chested holding a baby up against his chest doing that skin to skin contact that's so important when you have a newborn and that didn't even have the product in it but it communicated the point of the product so this is something that you can do and you don't have to spend thousands of dollars to hire models and get them using your products the next type of ad under the sponsored brand is a store spotlight and this is for someone who has a little bit of a larger catalog because you have to have at least four pages on your storefront and each page has to have at least one unique product. So you would need four unique products before you can use this type of ad. The next ad type is sponsored display ads and these are incredibly powerful. They can show on or off Amazon and their main goal is brand awareness, but they can also be very disruptive to different competitors based on where your ad is shown. So within this, you can either choose product targeting or audience targeting. Product targeting is going to show on Amazon and you can choose either an individual product or a product category. If you choose an individual product, it's very much like the ASIN targeting in sponsored product ads where you could show on the product detail page of one of your competitors and completely disrupt the sales process for one of their customers and you could steal them away. Now, when you're choosing product targeting, either the individual products or the product categories, these ads are only gonna be shown on Amazon. When you get into your audience targeting, that's when your ads can be shown on or off of Amazon. Within this, you could choose Amazon audiences, views remarketing or purchases remarketing with Amazon audiences. You're going to be targeting audiences that are unique based on their interests or different lifestyle. And that's going to come from what they've done on Amazon views. Remarketing is where your ad will be shown to shoppers who have either previously viewed your products or similar products. So again, it can be disruptive. If someone has shopped for someone else's cotton sheet set, then you show your ad for your cotton sheet set, they could end up choosing yours and buying it. And therefore you've taken that customer away from a competitor. <laughs> now purchase remarketing is where your ads will be shown to customers who have either previously purchased one of your products. This could be really useful when you're launching a new product. So there's a tip for you. So say you're selling your 400 count cotton sheet set, that's your only product and you go to launch a new product. Maybe you're launching a comforter set to go along with your sheet set you could use the purchase remarketing and target shoppers who have purchased your other product previously and let them know or let them see the ads for your new product. You could also target customers who have purchased similar products to yours in the past as well. So again, this one's really useful when you're launching a new product in your brand suite. Now we're gonna talk about the two different types of campaigns. You've got auto and manual campaigns. Now let's dive into auto campaigns. And these are just like the sponsored product campaigns. You don't have to have brand registry to be able to run these campaigns. Now, some of the benefits of these is they're super easy to run. You don't have to do any keyword research, but the drawbacks to this type of campaign is it could run away with your budget really quickly and get very expensive without getting you any sales. So you have to be very wise at when you choose to run an auto campaign.
I very, very much discourage anyone from putting an auto campaign on when they first launch a product. Amazon doesn't know what your product is yet. You have to teach the algorithm what your product is before you start using auto campaigns. This will make your auto campaign much more effective. Within an auto campaign, there are four different match types you can use. You've got close match, loose match, substitutes, and complements. So if your product is a 400 count cotton sheet set and you choose to run a substitutes campaign, someone who searches for a 300 count cotton sheet set could be shown your ad because it's a suitable substitute. If you've chosen the complements match type with that same 400 count cotton sheet set, someone searching for a feather pillow or a comforter set could be shown your ad. So if you've chosen loose match in your auto campaign and you're selling that 400 count cotton sheet set, cotton sheets or sheet set, that could end up having your ad shown if someone's searching with those search terms. If you've chosen close match as your ad type for your auto campaign, then it would need to be a little bit more specific for your 400 count cotton sheet set, cotton sheets, 400 count, those type of components in a search term could end up showing your ad. Now let's talk about manual campaigns. These are a little bit more complex, but they are also very effective. They're much more precise, but they do require you to do that keyword research to make sure you know what keywords you should be using in your ads. They are gonna require a little bit more time to maintain, and I recommend doing a PPC audit on your campaigns every week, not more than once a week, because you need time for the data to get back to your campaign manager. If you start making changes every single day, you're gonna be making decisions based on incomplete data, and that can cost you money. There are three match types within the manual campaigns. So you've got exact match, broad match, and phrase match. An exact match is what I recommend when you're launching. This is the type of match that you want to use so you can teach the Amazon algorithm exactly what your product is. So it shows your ads to the right people. You do this and you get some sales with this campaign type before you open it up to broad and phrase match and before you open up your auto campaign. Now, an exact match campaign is going to have fewer impressions than the other types of campaigns just because it has to be much more specific. So if your keyword is 400 count cotton sheet set, the customer has to type in 400 count cotton sheet set. All those words in that order with nothing in between. But as you can see, that's going to have the fewer impressions, but you have a much higher conversion rate. Your suggested bid price is most likely gonna be the highest with this match type as well. So that's something to consider, but it's worth it when you're launching because it gives you that opportunity to really teach Amazon what your product is. Now, broad match type is much more general. It can have different parts of your keyword in it. It can be in any order and it can have different words in between. So your 400 count cotton sheet set, you could have 400 count Egyptian sheets. That could end up showing. Could be So you can see you're going to get much more impressions because it's not as specific, but you might not have as high of a conversion rate. Conversely, your suggested bid price will be a bit lower for this match type. And the final match type for your manual campaigns is phrase match. The phrase match is a bit more specific and exact than the broad match. It has to contain the exact phrase, but it can have other words as well. So with your 400 count cotton sheet set, you could have 400 count Egyptian cotton sheets. You've got the phrases in there, but there are other words as well. That's okay. So you can see you'll get higher impressions, but you're much more specific in targeting with this. So your conversions will be a bit higher and conversely, your suggested bid price will be a bit higher as well. 
I hope this has been really helpful in clearing up a lot of the confusion about what is involved in Amazon PPC, but do not leave yet. I have one big tip that I promised you at the beginning that I wanted to make sure that I shared with you. And this is a really valuable tip because it came directly from an Amazon employee. It came from an Amazon advertising specialist. The tip is that when you are using either sponsored product ASIN targeting or sponsored display ASIN targeting, make sure you target your own ASIN. I know, wait, what? Why am I gonna put an ad on my own product detail page? Stay with me for this. Not only is it going to reinforce within your shopper how good your product is because they're seeing it again, you're taking away a space that a competitor cannot use to target your ASIN. Mind blown, I know, right? Was that worth staying with me for? I hope so. Now, make sure that you drop a comment below and let me know what you want to know about Amazon PPC so we can make sure we cover it when we do the Amazon PPC Masterclass coming up very soon. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified of upcoming videos like this one.